So this is three ways that you can see your asset group performance in your Performance Max campaign. Now it's not been very easy to review asset group performance like it is with a search campaign. They don't come on a drop down menu and it's not easy to review and make changes. You know, so you're sort of left guessing a little bit with Performance Max. Well, this is three ways that you can actually see your asset group performance. And my best one and favorite one is at the end. So make sure to stay around for that. But this will be a quick video because it's really simple to do. So first of all, you just want to select your Performance Max campaign. And what we want to do is go to Asset Group. Normally, you'll be taken to this section here, which is where you see all your asset groups. But you want to go to this right hand column and click on Table. And when you click on Table, make sure to add some columns into it like you would normally have for your search campaigns. And now you'll be able to see your asset groups down the left hand side, the cost, the impressions, the clicks, the conversions, and all of the performance of each asset group. So now I can go to filter down by conversion value divided by cost, which is ROAS, and I can see which is performing the best and which is performing the worst. Okay, so that's one way to look at it. The next one is literally to go to your listing groups, and at the top you'll be able to see the performance of each asset group based on the listing products you have in there. So if you're running this for lead gen, this way won't work, unfortunately, because you need to have products in your listing group to be able to see this data. But as I said, make sure you go through and fill in a nice column with all the metrics you'd like to use. And you can go through and similar to the other one, you can see the conversion value divided by cost and you can see all the other metrics like clicks, costs, average CPC. Okay, so those are easy ways to look at it on the platform. The third and final way, which is my favorite way, is to put a Google script into your account because then you'd be able to have a chart like this, which is updated every 30 days, which gives you a lot more data than you're seeing on the platform. For example, we can see the amount of cost. So if we go from this side here, we can see total cost, total conversion, total conversion value, which is what we could see in the others. But we can also see how much is being spent on shopping, how much is being spent on video, how much is being spent on display and search. We can see the splits we are gaining through those. If we go to charts here, we can again see the split by going to shopping costs, video costs, display costs. And finally, under this tab, asset groups, we can see the performance of each of our asset groups and the ROAS, the clicks and CTR, similar to the other things we had there. But I love to be able to see my asset group performance because that means I can add in little tests into my campaigns as to tweaks to my audience signals or to take out to exclude certain products, which means I can continue to progress and improve my account through, through creative testing. Okay, so those are three ways to uh, look at your asset group performance with the final one being my favorites. Now I will link the in the description how to input this Google script into your account. It's relatively easy. Um, so yeah, I'll have that in the account. Uh, if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, please do ask me anything to do with Performance Max. I'd love to reach out uh, and speak to you guys. So yeah, give me a follow. That'll also be linked in the description. Thank you guys.